Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I have been a big lover of movies all of my life, and I have been collecting many, many things. This place that I am in right now is filled with so many things that I've collected and spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on things that I don't need, but they're things that make me happy. So maybe in a weird way, I do need them. I don't know. I'm sorry, there is still construction outside. <coughs> but anyways, this video is about me showing you all of my props. That is right, real props that I have accumulated from real movies out there that were made in the world, not my films. You, you know, you know doggone well I have all the props for my own movies, my own short films. But these are other people's movies. Real films. Good movies. I used to just collect stuff like this. These are just prop replicas. And I used to love prop replicas. I have this, I have uh, Thor's hammer, I have, uh, you, you know, Vader helmets and Michael Myers masks and stuff, stuff like that. And I, I really liked this stuff for a long time because I'm like, oh, it's almost like I had something that was pulled straight off the screen and now it's in my collection. But then I was like, you know what would be even cooler and more expensive, but you know what would be even cooler if I actually had something that was on screen. And I got a little pieces of those, as you'll see in a bit. Now, the very first thing that I have is quite small, but it's still cool nonetheless. It's a little modern times trading card you got here. From Panini Americana 2007? 2011? 2009. Oh, I was way off. Um, we get a little bit of a Claudette Colbert and Charlie Chaplin uh, costume? Shirt? Relic? I don't think this is actually their shirt. Look at here. Here's what it says on the back. The enclosed swatches of material were cut from authentic items personally worn by Charlie Chaplin and Claudette Colbert. Colbert? Col Colbert? Uh, the authentic personally wore items were obtained and guaranteed by Panini Americana. So, were they worn on the set? Were they worn in the movie? Or was it just something they had in their closet and Panini took it out and chopped it up and made it into a trading card? But if that were the case, then why the heck does it have Modern Times on it? And they were... I... Panini, help me out here, man. So this is why this item is first, because I'm not sure if it is screen used or not. I'm guessing no, but no. Like, eh, uh, nay. Next up is a pretty cool piece I got from the Godfather of Gore, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Herschel Gordon Lewis, known as the Godfather of Gore, has made some really wacky, wild, and zany movies out there. Uh, you got the Gore Gore Girls, you got the famous Blood Feast, or maybe infamous Blood Feast. You got, uh, oh my god, uh, 2000 Maniacs. You got uh, The Wizard of Gore, which is probably one of his more famous ones. Um, gosh, so many, so many. And I've seen them all, and I love them all, for the most part. They, they are badly made, I'll give you that. Crusher Gordon Lewis is not a good director, but... He does have a certain style and a certain sense that's all on his own because it's just bad. It's bad, but the movies are highly, highly entertaining if you're a horror fan like me. So this piece is from one of his uh, later films, uh, The Uh-Oh Show. Herschel Gordon Lewis has since passed away, but before he did, he signed a couple of these right here. So that is his signature, good old HGL. And also, this little swatch up here is a little piece of uh, a movie, a shirt that they wore in the film. Uh, more specifically, this shirt that this lady is wearing right here in the frame. And this was supposed to be a part of some sort of DVD box set that was getting released. Some special collector's edition thing. Where you get the, a DVD of the uh -oh show along with some pins, along with some uh, um, lobby cards, which I do have. I don't have the DVD. I just got it on eBay. But I did get this, and it is pretty legit. 
and this is from straight from Herschel Gordon Lewis's website or something like that, some kind of offer that they had when the movie was coming out. So pretty cool promo anime. Um, I you don't see many of these to be honest. I have never I've seen one of these and this is it. And then I bought it because it was very limited edition. Next up, we have another trading card ish item. It is Paranormal Activity. So now these cards from Bragent were, a bit, from what I believe, for, uh, from what I've heard, uh, these cards were kind of not made. They were made, obviously, but they never went out into stores. They were really kind of like a test product. So they, they gave these away some, to some people, and they're like, hey, do you like them? And if they did, they would get made. If they didn't, then they wouldn't. Uh, be massively produced, and I guess they weren't massively produced, so there aren't too many of these out here. The paranormal activity uh, inside, you get a few cards like this, and you know, from the movies and stuff, stills like that. You've seen the movie, and if you haven't, then you should. I mean, it's pretty good, but it's pretty spooky. Actually, paranormal activity 2, and I feel like I've said this on this channel, who knows what I've said anymore. Paranormal Activity 2 was the first horror movie I have ever seen. Or the first one I remember watching anyways, because I didn't know what horror movies were. And my parents ordered it from Netflix, and they're like, Hey, you want to see this movie? And I was like six, maybe seven. And I was like, sure, I'll see any movie with you guys. And I watched it, and I was like, oh my, oh my god, this is actually terrifying. What is going on right now? I didn't know movies were made like this. But anyways, it comes with the director's uh, autograph there. That's what at least so that's what I got. You can get two of the stars autograph stars. There's the, the it's the one lady, the one lady who was in like two and three and stuff. Um, and then oh snap, shoot, frick, I forgot. This isn't really screen used or anything, but it's a genuine frame from the film Paranormal Activity. You you movie fans at home who clicked on this video are probably like, Jesus Christ, this guy has freaking nothing. I, I clicked on this video expecting a prop, uh, a great prop collection, and yet he's showing me um, stills from Paranormal Activity. Hey look, I'm sorry, I love movies as much as the next guy, but I just don't have that much. This is a beginner's collection, beginner's, okay? I'm still young at heart and young in the brain, so... Titanic. This I acquired from the great pristine auction and it is an authentic 2x2 two two piece of the prop ship used in the 1997 blockbuster film Titanic. James Cameron, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, how much better can it get? It's a piece of the ship that they used. There's a little certificate of authenticity back there. It's fantastic. It comes in this little crinkly shrink wrap kind of deal um so i don't really know how to properly display this this shit part isn't enclosed in anything so it's just kind of like hanging out there if i take off the the seal here then it'll just the ship piece will be kind of out in the open for people to touch it and you just snap it off i'm pretty sure it's just glued to the board here so i'm not really sure how i should present this or how i should have it up on a wall like that maybe I I don't know give me some ideas nobody will comment on this video but if you've made it this far give me some ideas of how I should hang this up because right now it's just laying on a table which I don't really want it to be laying on a table I spent some good money on this and by good money I mean no money because um, Pristine Auction gave me a free $100 gift card for screwing up one of my orders in the past. And so I was like, $100? What can I get that's probably going to be expensive and that's pretty cool? And I already have enough signatures. God, I had too many autographs. So I was like, a prop! And I really wanted to get this other prop that I saw from one of the greatest and most well-known movies of all time, but they didn't have it there. So instead, I got one later that I found at good old Frankenstein's collectible show, and that is this little piece right here from The Wizard of Oz. This is a little authentic piece of the yellow brick road that Dorothy and all of her pals were, uh, uh, were gliding and dancing and singing on. Uh, it's, it's very small. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wait. Yeah, it, the Elberg Road, but still, 
very iconic. Um, of course, probably Wizard of Oz is the most well-known movie of all time. Is there somebody out there that doesn't know what this movie is? That is over the age of five? I'm pretty sure no. At least you gotta know about it, you know what I'm saying? The Wizard of Oz, uh, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? But anyways, pretty cool. I guess it's another kind of trading card, I guess. But still, hey, 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 just throw it out, man. It's just, okay, okay. And this last item here. Yes, that's right. The video's already over. This last item here has got to be the most suspicious one. Oh, shoot. Actually, I do have... Hold on. Let me just show you the item, okay? Okay? All right, so this last item that I got here is from one of the greatest movies, or one of the greatest franchises of all time, DC Comics. And for all you superhero fans out there, you might be saying, oh... Which one? Well, the good old 1960s Batman. That's right. Cesar Romero's Joker. This is a prop glove of his. Um, Cesar Romero, you know, the one of the very first Jokers. Uh, actually, he might be the first Joker. At least live action one. So, anyways. The Joker. Cesar Romero. Signature on the bottom there. Glove. All fake. That's right. This whole thing is probably all fake. You might be wondering, well, Xander, where the heck did you get this? Um, well, I got it from a jewelry store. I, I don't know. But I did get one more thing from this so-called jewelry store. And when they told me, when I was buying these, they told me, oh, uh, we're, we're going out of business. And I was like, oh, cool, how much for this Joker piece? They said, five bucks. And I was like, what? Okay, even if it's fake, which I am pretty, which I knew it was at the time, I was like, five bucks still ain't bad. And then I was like, hey, how much is this little piece? And it's from a Marvel movie, specifically Spider-Man 2. And when there was like an explosion or an exploding building, what was this the first Spider-Man? And so I bought some rocks. And um, I've also bought a prop from the original Planet of the Apes, 1968, with uh, Charles and Heston. Um, and I sold that one. <laughs> to somebody who thought it was real. So, sorry. Um, but uh, the... Oh, what's it called? The other one, the, the Spider-Man rocks, I have somewhere. I just can't find. I shattered the frame, so there's just rocks on like a platter like this. It's very bad. But this one, let me know if it is real or not. Look at that's a good thumbnail right there. Um, it's probably just like a gardens, gardening glove or something like that. But anyways... Those are all my movie problems. I, I know it's not much, but listen, I'm gonna keep collecting. And if you love what you do, you, you know you'll stop at nothing. They just keep going. Do whatever makes you happy. There's not many things that make me happy, but it's fine. I gotta go. I have a class starting up again. Peace. Subscribe. And guess what? I have a new movie that just came out. The Justice Wars. That is right. My very first feature-length film. It's going to be in the description. Please watch it and check it out. Dab. Goodbye.